Welcome back. The other day I was out here doing a, a ladder test in the 25 Creedmoor. I had a viewer chime in. I don't know if he's a viewer or a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hope you're tuning in this time too. Reloading fun. He was checking out my video and he um, looked at the target, gave me some suggestions. And so today I'm going to fine tune all these a little bit. I have a match on Sunday and I wanted to get out here and try to take that info I, I gained the other day shrink it down and get a fine-tuned load for uh, 25 cream work getting ready to twist up about 120 rounds so I want to make sure it's it's right or a good load anyhow this is a backpack from primary arms my brother-in-law got it for me for Christmas he's a cool ass brother-in-law one of the best you could have he's a captain with the fire department over by Cincinnati it expands you unzip these side zippers and it all comes out I got all kinds of stuff in here I got bags I got a whole other backpack in here I took this backpack where the dogs ate the stuffing on my couch we kept the stuffing I guess to think that we're gonna restuff a cushion and never did so I took this backpack and I stuffed it full of that that cushion I made like a little pump pillow. I go pay 70 bucks for one, or however much they are. So I just made one. I'll do just fine at that match. What we're shooting today, we're, we're doing 40 40.7, 40.8, 40.9, 41.7, 41.9, 42, 42.1, 42.2. And then I have a bunch of 42 grainers loaded up that uh, I'm gonna use to get this lab radar set up in case it doesn't go off on some of these strings. Last time I was out here shooting, I got inconsistent data on that 42 grain load. It had the best group of the day, but my numbers were off because it, it errored on me a couple times. So we're gonna give it another shot, see how that turns out. I'm gonna hop off here, get this set up. I'll be back. We are armed. I did not clean this from the other day I shot. So we're going to be riding dirty. We'll start off with these 42 grain cider rounds. These are bullets I pulled from that small rifle primer brass. There was 36 out of the 100 on that small rifle primer that would not chamber on that brass. So I pulled all those bullets last night. Man, we're going to use those for cider rounds. Fire in the hole. Twenty nine oh seven. That's what these were clocking at the other day. Twenty nine oh one. Twenty eight seventy seven. Twenty nine oh five. 29.13 That's all at 42 grains Extreme spread 36 SD 13 Average 29.01 This lab radar seems to be in the right spot Let's get to this load test First up 40.7 This is all H4350 40.7 the other day these had real low numbers. 28, 25. And they got a zinger, 28, 32. Barrel's pretty cool still. As I'm loading up the next three, I'll chill her down a little, a little bit more. Next load is 40.8. Stream spread 8, SD 4.7. The group, two in one hole, one right next to it. I'm digging, man, that charge. The other day, they're all real load numbers. Holds true today. Let's see what 40.8 does. For our 
armed, we're cleared, ready to rock and roll. Interesting, 2746. Twenty eight oh eight. These are only three shot groups loading on that Hornady thing. It takes forever. Golly. I just didn't have the time to load more. Twenty eight twenty two. ES forty six SD forty. That's a good. That's crazy. One one grain of difference more or less on loading and it's drastically different this is 40.9 and that was much different today than it was the other day 2829 2826 one whole group 2842 clover leaf es a 16 sd of 8.4 average velocity 28.32 now we're at 41.7 29.21 after looking at the numbers the other day this 41.7 should be in a real good spot we'll see how it turns out this is what I was thinking I'd probably use. 2909. Damn it! Could not track projectile. ES12, standard deviation 8.2, average velocity 2915. Bit. Well, have to try that again some other day. 41.9. 28 73. 28 93. 28 95. This thing's shooting today, y'all. Woo! Throwing some great groups. ES 23 SD 12 2887. This is that 42 grainer load that shot so well the other day. These are new bullets, not pulled bullets. I took my time on these. That side in uh, side in group didn't produce real great numbers. We'll see if I can improve here with these. 2907. Huh. Could not acquire data. 2899. Mind you, it's two shots. Extreme spread seven SD5 2903 average. Go we'll do forty two point one. Twenty eight ninety nine. Twenty eight nineteen. Twenty eight seventeen. ES a nineteen SD of ten. Average twenty nine twelve. Part of the problem of this thing is that damn tripod. It's the cheapest thing. Shame on you, Lab Radar. That is one cheap ass tripod. If you ever get one, don't buy their tripod. <laughs> it's the wobbliest, jankiest piece of cheap plastic. All right, last load. This is the 40.2.
2905 2907's average velocity SD of 25 S sorry ES of 25 SD of 12.8 let's go down and take a look I'm pretty pleased with this I think I found a load in there somewhere that we're going to use this weekend baby 40.7 40.8 got odd numbers on that one and then the numbers came back three shots three shots three shot clover probably load of 40.6 just based off of the numbers the other day and kind of how flat this whole area was well here it was there's 40.6 the other day, 40.8 shot really well. I'll have to go back and see what the numbers were on that. And there's 41. I didn't do a 41 test today. It's 40.9 though. If this wasn't so whacked out on numbers, that'd be like the perfect middle area. But you come down here, 40.7. It shot really well, 40. Sorry, 41.7, 41.9. There's 42 again. Had an error on that lab radar. I've got some extra rounds. I'm going to take that lab radar up with me as I practice on the uh, silhouette range with those 42 grainers. See what they come in at. 42.1, 42.2, three shot group. And there was those 42 grainers warming up that lab radar there's 42 from the other day there's 42 today 41.8 it's 41.9 41.7 have to see what the numbers are on that 41.8 from the other day i'm not sure that's that group's indicative of the round itself that I, I, could have been me Maybe a 41 eighths the ticket. I'll have to again, I'll have to check the numbers on that. Pretty pleased with that. I'm happy I came out here today. I'm gonna drag the table back up on the uh, silhouette range. And do some practice. I think I got five shots left. I want to see where my dope is and confirm that on my scope with my app on my phone. I want to see where 385 comes in. Match on Sunday. One part of the range is all 385, for the most part. There's what the wind's doing out here on the silhouette range. Straight out of the southwest, a constant. I'm going to guess that at, I don't know, 7 mile an hour with 10 mile an hour gustius. I will show you this app on my phone. It's called Windy. W-I-N-D-Y. Click on that. Southwest, 12 miles an hour. You click on it anywhere on this map close to you. 12 miles an hour. Pretty cool. Perfect. Okay, we'll get all my stuff together here. I'm going to move back to the Patriot Range and make some steel ring at 385, I hope. All these rounds I've been shooting is brand new factory brass, never been fired. So once I get all these shot up, everything should be fire formed. And maybe things will tighten up a little bit. I've seen where it does, I've seen where it doesn't, so who knows. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shots we're going to take out the distance. The chair up. Bam. Unhook from the front. Hook in the back. 
and off we go. It's a little windy in the camera. I can't help it. Just the way it is. Got 12 miles an hour in the face face. All right, we got a plate at 383. Let's be close enough. Let's see what the Apola says. Spit. It says 1.38 and right 0.26. The wind. That sock's dancing out there now. I don't know. 1.38. 1. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. Let's go 1, 4. Right, 2, 6. 1, 2. Doesn't make sense to me, but that's what it says. Let's see what happens. Go aim at the top bolt on that plate. Bam. It's a little low. I noticed the other day it's about two clicks off. So first shot's low left. I just went two more clicks up. So whatever this says, I'm gonna go two more. See if it translates on target here. Yep, right next to the bolt. So whatever this says, plus two. Oh yeah, baby. Yep. I got its number today. That makes sense. I'm glad I came out here today to figure that out because when I was out here shooting with Josh, it was off. I was low and I kept chasing it, then I was high. The round I was shooting was about 100 feet per second faster than what I thought it was too. That didn't help. So we'll probably do a 42 grain load for Sunday. It's looking like y'all. It's right at 2,900 feet per second. I'm at 1.7 mil elevation. <laughs> the 42 grain load may not have the best numbers, but that like 41.7 is 42. I think I'm just gonna go with the flat 42 for now. We got two shots left. I'm gonna shoot one more at the plate, and I'm gonna shoot the coyote in the head. We'll see when I go after the coyote if I uh, do click two clicks more if that translates on target. Yep. I can't get this to read. I think it was 413-ish, 1.63, about 1.7, 163, 1.8, go 1.9. We'll go for the coyote in the head. Missed it, high. Well, I'm all out of bullet, so let's go take a look. Good my little mini PRS practice course. Oh yeah, buddy. I was aiming at the bolt. First shot, I dialed two tenths up. I was aiming there. First shot here. I did not hold any windage. I did not dial any windage. I just held straight up. Just curious what we're doing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I shot the ninth one that the coyote and it was high, I think. We'll go check it out. But there it is, man. Nice group. Mr. Coyote's gonna live to eat another rabbit today. Here's some of the other targets I have on the rack. I see some fresh dirt there, so I was high. There's the long target. I think that's fresh enough to say that was my miss right there. Got a little rabbit back there, a little rat, a little gopher. Man, I just missed him too. Hey gang, thanks so much for tuning in today. I do appreciate your viewership. 
like subscribe share this video platform youtube is not a friend to people like us nor is this algorithm so the more you uh share this and give me a sub or a thumbs up the more it helps populate this around uh the interweb and more people like us patriots will get it in front of them i do appreciate it as always stay safe till next time